hello everyone in this session we will discuss one problem the problem is jh of s equal k by s plus 1 s plus 2 s plus 3 he given three poles draw the nyquist plot and find the stability for different values of k if k have different different values and find out the stability for if we are using the different different values of k so for that first what is the condition you should draw a open loop transfer function so we will draw like that but first we will take the magnitude and phase values first so first first we should take the magnitude values like this so solution so what is the magnitude gh of magnitude magnitude will give k by under root of omega square plus 1 and this is for under root of omega square plus 4 and this is under root of omega square plus 9 this is the magnitude and what, is, what about phase we have to find out the phase here this is for 0 and for this is tan inverse of omega by 1 and for this tan inverse of omega by 2 this is tan inverse of omega by 3 okay right so first we should find out for we are getting magnitude values and phase values first we should find out at omega equal to 0 what is the at omega equal to 0 first you find out for omega equal 0 what is the magnitude here what is the magnitude substitute the omega value 0 k by this is root 1 and this is the root 4 and this is the root 9 so this is k by 1 into 2 into 3 so we will get magnitude at frequency equal to 0 we were having finally we will get the magnitude is k by 6 it's k by 6 and and so leave this thing next we will go for draw the polar plot first for this what is the polar plot we are getting here so look at here here this is the plot this is general plot and this is the imaginary axis and for this particular transfer function the polar plot is like this the polar plot is it starts from here for omega equal 0 and omega equal 0 this is the thing polar plot omega equal 0 and it will start at 0 and magnitude will be k by 6 so the plot is like this so its plot is start from here and and so we will modify it simply the plot is start from here and end with this point end with here this is omega equal to 0 and at the omega equal 0 what is the magnitude this plot the magnitude of the plot is the k by 6 okay so it start from here and end with here what is replica so the replica is like this so we should extend we should just modify it then it will clear so it will be start from here and and it will touch touch this point and end with here okay this flow is like this this flow is like this and end with here so after reaching this point so we should in order to get the polar uh, Nyquist plot we should draw the replica of the polar plot that's why the plot is exact replica is like this so the exact replica is like this so we start from here and right so this will flow like this so you start from here and end with like this start omega equal 0 and it will omega equal infinite 
after that replica is like this okay just observe the plot here and we will get we have, we were having we are having here omega equals 0 but we don't know what is the omega at here we don't know what is the omega at here so we should find out what is the omega here but you know that at this point the phase is minus 180 the phase is minus 180 so we will use that concept the phase is minus 180 but what is the phase value at minus 180 the phase value is we will write here so use this equation the equation is tan inverse of omega not tan uh, tan inverse of omega minus tan inverse of omega this is and minus tan inverse of omega by 2 and minus tan inverse of omega by 3 why we are doing this we have to find out at phase of minus 180 so if we are solving we will get the omega value so if you solve this by using a plus b principle so the if you solve this 180 tan inverse of omega plus tan inverse of omega by 2 plus tan inverse of omega by 3 so it, it look like tan inverse of a plus tan inverse of b after the completion of this you will apply again this is the single and apply for tan inverse of a and tan inverse of b then you have finally if you solve this we will get omega equal 3.33 radian per second you should do the you should the, you should use the principle and solve this you will get the omega equal 3.33 radian per second so what is this meaning at this omega is zero and it will reach this imaginary axis at omega equal to 3.33 we will get finally 3.33 radian per second okay so and we should find out the magnitude here and what is the magnitude here we should find out so at omega equal to, at that point at at the phase of minus 180 we will get the frequency value is 3.33 radian per second and at this we should find out the magnitude at omega equal to 3.33 then what is the formula for magnitude g h at omega equal to 3.33 already we write the magnitude here so that's why we should substitute in this equation we should substitute in this equation in this equation if you substitute this we will getting like this 1 by under root of 3.33 whole square plus 1 and second is 3 point sorry separate thing this is the 3.33 square plus 4 and what is the third third term is 3.33 square plus 9 okay so and we have the magnitude is k okay so by solving this we will get the magnitude at frequency equal to 3.33 radian per second is k by 60 so finally we are getting the magnitude value at this we are getting at this point the magnitude value is k by 60 we have the k by 60 here okay but the question is he is asking about stability he is asking about stability so in order to get the stability first where where is the point of minus 1 plus j0 point we don't know maybe that point maybe that point may be here or here that point may be here for example assume we can use three cases if the point is here minus 1 plus j0 point is here or otherwise here or otherwise here then we should find out stability how the stability should be varied we have to check it so that is the condition so that's why we will take here 
that's why I will write here but we don't know we don't know where is minus 1 plus j0 where is minus 1 plus j0 so we have but possibility cases are but we have possibility cases are we have three cases the first case one the case one what is the case one case one is for example here we have this point for example here we have minus one plus j zero then then so for example that means how can we define this this magnitude value if if it is here this i can write like this 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 value is higher than this so that's why i will write like this if the k by 60 magnitude is greater than minus 1 plus j0 okay so that's why we will get k by 60 is greater than 1 okay so by using this i will write k greater than of 60 this is the condition we are getting but at this condition we will check the stability so look at here with the stability what are the encirclements 1 and the 2 encirclements because this is clockwise and this is also clockwise if there is here the encirclements is the 2 encirclements are clockwise that's why minus 2 and what is the any open loop poles is there for the system for the system uh, so is there any right hand side pole in the open loop transfer function no that's why i will write p plus value is 0 p plus value is 0 and we should find out open loop zeros z plus value so by using this we will get number of encirclements equal to p plus minus z plus what is p plus encirclements equal to is minus 2 and 0 z plus equal to this so closed loop closed loop right hand side poles are 2 so so this condition at this condition at k greater than 60 system is unstable so the system is unstable and we will use the second case what is the second case here if the point is here if the minus 1 plus j plus 0 is here then both are same this k by 60 and one value is same so i will use the second case here case 2 i will use the case 2 what is the case 2 both are at the same point k by 60 equal to a strength should be 1 then k value equal to 60 if the k value is 60 here if you put here there is no encirclements there is no encirclements that's why i will write encirclements is 0 and poles are open loop poles is 0 what about z plus we have to find out z plus equal to encirclements so we have to find out the z plus value okay so we know the encirclements equal to poles minus open loop poles minus closed loop poles here 0 and this is the 0 and this is the z plus so z plus equal to 0 that's why right hand closed loop poles are 0 therefore at k equals 60 the system is stable system the system is stable system and we will use the case 3 what is the case 3 here here if you observe the case 3 case 3 means if minus 1 plus j0 is here if minus 1 plus j0 here then what happened minus 1 plus j0 magnitude is greater than the k by 60 so i will use that condition that means so minus 1 plus j0 magnitude is greater than the k by 60 so that's why this magnitude is 1 and k by 60 so at this condition k value so less than 60 k value is less than 60 
and at this condition look at here what happened at this condition is there any encirclements no it doesn't have any encircles so directly i will write encirclements is zero so any right hand side poles p plus is also zero what about z plus z plus also we will get zero by solving this that means so there is no right hand closed loop poles right hand closed loop poles also zero therefore the system is stable system system is stable system look at here for case 1 the system for k greater than 60 it is not stable system and k equal 60 it is stable system for k less than 60 it is stable system so finally i will write the given system is stable for k k less than 6 less than or 60 k is less than or equal to 60 whenever the dc gain is less than or equal 60 the system will be stable okay so this is the problem will give for different different gains different different gains the stability will be varied so particular look at here for k equal 60 it is not it is a stable k less than 60 it is a stable but k greater than 60 it is not stable so dc gain will be this is the stable so i hope all of you understand the session thank you